can you keep up with the pace of market regulatory reform? MarketsReformWiki.com, the place to keep up. Looking back, what's driven Sonobor's business over the past several years? It was obviously that uh, with the new kind of computers coming in uh, and the new kind of, of, of uh, traders coming in, there, there would be a need in the future for a much, much faster system. 2007, we were extremely successful on the trading side. We got five uh, new exchanges within a very, very short time frame. And that uh, gave us a, a, a a luxury problem, a problem growing extremely fast, but be extremely one-legged. We did an analysis and we found out that there was two areas 2008 that there was a need for. Um, the high frequency traders, they told us that they had good systems, but would like to have a second opinion on their risk. And the other uh, area where we found out that there was a possibility was on sm smart order routers. There was over 50 companies selling smart door routers. Nobody was selling uh, real-time risk management for, for uh, central clearinghouses and central markets. We did all our investment on, on the clearing side, and it was a very easy decision after the 15th of September because Lehman, uh, cr the crash of Lehman did it very obviously that there was a need for not only uh, real-time risk management, also for clearing. Tell us about Sinober's vision for trading risk management and clearing. When an order is coming in, it should always be uh, calculated if uh, there is co collateral enough for that participant to issue that order. So pre-trade risk management is important. Then the trade should be done. And immediately the trade is done, the trade should be split it into the clearing houses and the collateral should be reserved and all that activity should be done in milliseconds. How did the market react to your risk management technology in early 2009? Most of the uh, markets in the US and Europe told us that there was no uh, need for a real-time risk management. And uh, some of the regulators told us that the banks have told them that it was impossible to introduce real-time risk management. So there's a lot of, of interest in the market that have always been against real-time risk management. Now I think um, that uh, almost everybody in the market agreed that you have to have control over the, your risk in real time. Where do you see opportunities for risk management in the new regulatory environment? Something we think is extremely exciting and, and will um, give us a lot of possibilities is of course the requirements of uh, clearing of OTC trades. The uh, main solution for, uh, for OTC trading today, um, the live solution called Beclear, uh, was delivered by, from Sinobo 2005. So we have been in this space now for seven years, and, and uh, we, we know very well uh, what is required for the OTC market, uh, and, and looking forward to be able to deliver uh, a state of art solution for all the different markets. With new regulations, how do you see new products developing? We think that in the future uh, there will be a much more openness for new instruments based on, 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 on parameters which is set for the whole market. Everybody should know which the parameters are and, and how you can use them. When we de de developed uh, a system for equity derivatives for the trading side, it could be a, a, a cash market, it could be a, a metal market, it could be an interest rate market. So we had to take um, the, um, all, all that kind of instruments, parameters into the system from, from uh, day one. Many of the solutions today is based on, 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 on the old kind of systems, the old kind of, 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 of instruments that have been used for many years. Um, we will see a lot of changes in, in that uh, uh, area for the next five years. Going forward, what is Sinober focusing on? We are investing our own money in, in research and, and business development. So we, we are always, I think we have one of the, the largest database in, in our industries of news 
coming up and we are we are saving all of them we have done so since uh, we started the company we have some some exciting projects in the social media arena as well because we think that the behavior in the trading uh, in, in, the, in the marketplace will be completely different five years from now than it is today. We have, since we started the company, tried to be uh, very good in the uh, merge arena between technology and, 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 and marketplaces. That is a very narrow uh, uh, niche, but that's the niche we have uh, been in since day one, and we will not leave uh, because there is so much to do. How do you feel about the potential of the listed derivative space? I definitely think that the, uh, the listed derivatives will come back to the volumes it had four or five years ago. As soon as we have confidence for the cash market again, then, then we have uh, opportunity in the, in the derivative space.